Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Red Bull, with team boss Christian Horner blaming Carlos Sainz for the crash he had with Sergio Perez. Now the two were fighting over third place at the end of the race and Sainz managed to get past at turn 1, but went wide at turn 2. That meant it was a drag race all the way down to turn 3, but neither driver made it, with them colliding on the straight and ending up in the wall. Now this was Perez's best race in a long long time, and his frustration was clear with the way he was over the team radio over the incident and Horner feels Sainz drifted over and that it was his fault. He told Sky F1, He deserved a lot more. I was looking at the replay and you can see Carlos start to drift across the circuit, so very disappointing. Perez should have at least been on the podium today. You have to look at what will be in post for the following weekend. It has destroyed the race for Sergio today, cost us a lot of damage and obviously vital points in the Constructors' Championship. Now the stewards have issued their verdict on this crash and have decided that no penalties will be handed out to either driver. A statement said, the stewards reviewed how the incident occurred, not the consequence. Sainz passed Perez after turn 1 and was completely ahead at the apex of turn 2. With a compromise exit by Sainz, Perez pulled to the inside of Sainz. Sainz reported that he was aware of Perez to his inside. Perez, being slightly behind, was in a better position to see the relative location of the cars, but as the two cars approached the wall on the right at the exit of turn 2, they were about 1 metre apart. From this point, and throughout the incident, neither driver steered erratically, and indeed kept their steering very neutral. The stewards checked the driving line of the drivers on previous snaps. Sainz was on or close to his normal racing line, which forms a slight angle away from the right-hand wall. Now the stewards did say that Sainz did move slightly towards a car that he had limited vision of, and they also said that there was nothing unusual about Perez's line, but he could have done more to avoid the car he had a better view of. In turn, the stewards said, In conclusion, the stewards deem this to be a racing incident, with neither driver being predominantly at fault, and take no further action. Now for me, after looking at the footage, I do feel this was more slightly Sainz's fault, given it does look like he was slightly drifting over. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.